everybody, Danette May here. I'm gonna take you through a total sweat session that you can do either in your home or at the park where I'm at right now. This workout you can do four days a week, every other day, and you are totally gonna to see results. There are only four movements that make a big difference. Let's get started. Are you guys ready to be sweaty and effective and sexy? First movement, plank jack with a star jump. You're gonna go down, jump out into your plank, back in, power up into a star jump, and then head back down, and up. Power it out, and up. Nice job. Reach those legs out, reach for the sky. Nice work. You're gonna do that for 15 times, leading into the next movement. All right, your heart is pumping. We just got done with those plank jacks, star jumps. Now we're gonna do star touches. You're gonna stand, hands are out, just like in a big X. Reach your foot out, touch your opposite arm, just like this. See how I'm keeping my body tall? I'm lifting that leg as high as it will go, working my abdominal muscles. Well, as you do this, contract in and crunch it up. You're gonna do this for 15 times, so it looks like this, one, one, two, two, just like that. You're gonna appreciate this little bit of break on cardio, but it's still so effective in the abs as we lead into our third movement. Your third movement, one of my favorite movements, survivors. Now remember, you're only taking about 10 seconds in between each one of these movements, so keep pushing. Do not stop. Go right into your plank, onto your elbows. You're in your nice plank. Your butt does not move. It does not go up. It does not sag down. You're gonna put your hand below. Lift up. Go down on that same right arm. Up on the right arm. Down on the right arm. If you look at my back, it's staying pretty flat in my plank position. Once I've done eight on the right arm, then I do eight on the left. Drop down on the left, come up on the left. Just like this. Beautiful movement to work your core, your shoulders, your biceps. Love this movement. All right, I saved the best for last. You just got done with your survivors. Your arms are burning, but we don't want to forget about the thighs and the glutes. We love working the thighs and glutes. So you're gonna either take a bench or a chair in your home. I'll show you what you can do if you do not have either one. But right now I'm gonna take a bench and we're gonna do step ups. So you're gonna go ahead and put your foot up, place your weight in your heel of your foot, and up and down. You're going for 15 on each leg, just like this. Going up and down and then you'll switch sides and do the other leg, up and down. Getting a nice burn in that glute and in that thigh. If you do not have a bench or a chair in your home or a bench at the park, you can still do this move. You're not getting out of this. We're gonna do lunge back. So you're gonna stand tall, step your foot back and lunge down, making sure your knee is behind your toe. Then come back up to starting and then back and up. Same thing, 15 on each leg, just like this. Posture is up. You're keeping your knee behind your toe and back up, nice job. And then you're gonna switch it out. Back and up. Reach your foot back and come on up. You just sweated out an awesome workout working all your muscle groups at any place, in your home or at the park. Nice work, you should be sweating, your heart should be up. This workout is meant to be done once if you're just beginning, three times if you're intermediate and if you're really going for it and you can do it, go five times through, okay? I'm challenging you, I wanna hear your comments below, I wanna hear how you did this, how many times you did it. Let's see if we can beat our score next time. And remember you guys, you are worth it.